Okay, third one of the day, no pulling call. Customers got a, can you guess? A rooftop unit that's a downflow system <coughs> provides. So we got the hatch door finally open. <coughs> the insulation, I'm wearing it, I'm eating it, I'm breathing it, not good. Um, hence why I wear long sleeves out here. All right, so guys, let's bring our meter up. Let's bring our gauges up and uh, let's see what's going on with this rooftop unit. All right. Guys, I just have a set of jumper cables around my neck in case uh, yeah, I jump anything out. <coughs> guys, the shit we do for money. The shit we do for money, but let's do yours next, baby. All right, let's see what we're working on here. Okay, we are two for three with the carriers today. This is a carrier. <coughs> Woo. Wow. I'm going to have to take apart that, that panel. <coughs> All right, but it's condensate. It's disconnected and it kind of melted on top of the tarp on this roof. <coughs> and I'll show you, he's got a ceiling leak downstairs right inside this bedroom. And... I'm contributing to this flashing around here. The condensate line is not even, not even connected. But <laughs> we're working on a, oh man, right here, 208, 230 volt, 208, 230, max 187. Oh man, R22 system, factory charge 7.9 pounds. It's an R22 system. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we got power here. Let's see. We got no condenser fan. We got nothing. No oh, man. <sighs> we got nothing. Let's see. All right. A really bad design here. Really bad. The access they put in here, and I'm. I don't know nine inches away from falling off of this rooftop here and ending MJF Mechanical's career. Oh, right now we got power on. We got capacitor. We got control board. We got contactor. We got relay. We got transformer. So let's start at the transformer. Let's make sure we have incoming power. Let's turn this off. Let's get our leads. Let's make sure we got 208 coming into this thing. So this is how I'm straddled right here. And no, this isn't a noose, this is just a jumper cable. If I wanted to uh, end my career and be six feet under, I'd drop about, I don't know, 22 feet down. I don't know if you'll die, well, maybe if you land on your head, you'll die, but definitely break a limb. All right, let's see if we got power. Breaker's off here, let's check for power. Let's check our line coming in at our, oh man, at our transformer. We got our, line hooked up to our meter let's turn power on oh, and let's check see if we got power all right we got 208 we got 208 there we got line coming in all right let's turn that back off let's hook our, our wires up yellow to the common black to our 230 okay let's check our secondary side Guys, it's not easy. I'm straddled right here. It's really not easy. Okay, breakers on. Let's check our low voltage side. Uh, it's gonna be 24 and common. Let's just check right there. We got 24. Yes, we got 24. Okay, so 24 volts. Let's check. Our so if we trace this back. This brown, and I should go to my control board, which is right here. And then we got this little 3 amp fuse. This is suspect. I don't know what this is here. This is just laying out here like this. I don't know what is going on here with this. If this was my ground somewhere. Yeah, this was a ground somewhere, but to what? I don't know. But this is thermostat coming in. Let's check our 3 amp fuse, guys. Let's check our little 3 amp fuse. Let's do a continuity test. 
this on continuity. Let's test our leads. Okay, our meter works. You guys see it? Meter works. I'm touching the two probes together. I got continuity. Let's check our fuse. Okay, fuse is bad. Fuse is bad. Let's get a better connection here. Let's check this. All right, and you can see the fusible link. Where are you guys? You see that fusible link right there? The fusible link is broken. So this fuse is broken. But what I want to do is, with my jumper cable, And would you look at this, putzing around here, and Carrie is kind enough to leave us a little 5 amp fuse. Let's see if it's any good. What the hell are we doing? Let's see if it's any good, guys. Let's check for continuity. One there. Alright, that fuse is good. Let's see what happens. Let me plug this guy in. Let's see. Alright, there's my old fuse. Let's plug in, plug in my new fuse and let's see what happens. Ready? All right, but why? All right, but why? Why did this thing blow? Let's check the amp drawer on the compressor. Why did this thing blow? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Why, why? Run, common, start. Let's ohm out this compressor. All right, so guys, power is off. And just for shits and giggles, we're gonna ohm out this compressor. And you always wanna do it with the power off. Don't break those. I know, I'm using my Nipix. I need my Lyman's, but I wasn't bringing my whole bag up here. Uh, let's ohm out this compressor. Uh, let's see, you always want to do it with the power off and uh, just do a complete inspection. All right, let's get our own meter. All right, I don't have my, damn, I don't have my, uh, my alligator clips for my UEI DL579. We're just gonna ohm this out. Guys, if you get OL or no reading between common and run, run and common, and common and start, then you have an open winding there. But if you get readings that were in range, compressor is good. So let's just ohm it out. Let's go common to start. Now the two numbers should equal between the run and the start. Let's just get these terminals are kind of, kind of old and kind of beat up. All right, so 1.7. That's between common and start. Common and run. I swear, it's it, it, it pays to have the right tools. I just don't have it with me. I couldn't bring my whole bag up here. Fucking with me now. Come on, common and 
common and run. You bastard. There we go, come on. Two. 2.7 that's in range that's normal and in between the start and the run those two numbers should add up and i'm going to say they're about five or a little less than five But why did that 5 amp fuse blow? Why? Why, why, why? I gotta try to duplicate. I gotta try to duplicate that issue right there. Why? Let's see if there's any shorts or anything. Look for any of the wiring that's cut or rubbing up against something. All right, so guys, I'm still trying to figure out why this fuse blew. Guys, check out these Apple Air tags, man. They're great. You lose your keys, you're located on your phone. But what happens if you lose your fucking phone? Then you're fucked, you lose both of them. <laughs> but check out these Apple Air tags. You can find them on Amazon, guys. They're like four for a hundred bucks. All right, we got the panel off for the blower motor. Let's check the condition of this motor. Let's check, I guess, the amp draw on this thing. And let's see. It's belt driven. Let's see if this thing turns on. All right, let's get an amp draw on this thing. There's five wires here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's check the amp draw on this thing. So that blower motor is rated for 6.6 .6 amps. It's rated on the nameplate. Let's turn this thing on. Compressor comes on. Fan is not spinning. So I got no fan. I got no blow motor. I'm gonna check contactor. I'm gonna check contactor here. Let's ohm out this contactor. And let's, let's check this capacitor here. Why I have no fan there. Uh, let's see. Hey guys, we're just ohming out this contactor here in about 18 ohms. Which is good, guys. Anything OL, no good, broken. So, contactor is good. We can put the common back together. And the low voltage side here. Next, we're going to check this capacitor here and see what's going on. But why did this 5 amp fuse blow? Look at that belt. Fucking belt is broken. Look at the belt. Look at the belt. The belt is broken. I gotta get a new belt. I don't have belts on my truck. Fuck. Fuck. Alright. Guys, as you can see, this is rated 60 over 5. Let's check this capacitor. Let's see if it's in range. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Guys, make sure the power is off. And make sure you discharge. Right now, we're just taking all the commons off. Okay, let's take the fan off. And we're gonna take the 
a compressor. Okay. Let's do a microfire check on the contactor. And let's see why I have no fan. Common to Herm. solid comment to Herm guys 56 56 56 plus or minus now let's do common to fan the fan 5.03 a little weak but it should run it's in range plus or minus six percent it should be good let's put this back i don't think it's the capacitor because it's not as weak as i thought it would be all the yellows are on common the four terminals Blue's compressor and the brown is the fan. I still have no idea what this ground is doing right here. Just floating around in midair. Floating around in midair. It's not doing anything. All right, let's try one more time. Come on, let's hope for fan. Let's make sure all these. This comes from my fan right here. This comes my fan right here this contact though. let's make sure everything is tight everything is tight come on fan come on fan let's pray for it oh oh shit we got fan we got fan but why i gotta change that belt jeez i gotta change that belt all right, let me get a belt size and uh, put these compartments back, let them know what we found. And uh, in the meantime, we'll see if we can duplicate that issue. But fan came on now. Fan came on. Nothing's tripping. I got to grease those bearings. Maybe it's seized up. Like all right let's check pressures all right so this is what's contributing to his ceiling leak inside i'm going to show you that ceiling so this i'm going to have to glue back to him oh man this i'm going to have to glue back these people don't even glue their fittings here look at this none of this is glued oh shit man none of it's glued just running off into the gutter Jeez. I should extend that for him too. I'm gonna extend that for him. All right, let's get some glue and primer. Let's button this up. Look at this, none of this is fucking glued. Jeez, man. All right, let's put this panel back. Let's get a belt size. Let's come back tomorrow with a new belt. This will get him going for tonight. And then we'll 
will grease up this motor tomorrow. This will get him some cooling tonight though. For sure. show you that ceiling leak right here that's where all that condensate is coming from pulling right there okay all right guys let's bring some primer i don't have a smaller glue oh man i gotta take this big thing up all right take that let's bring some three-quarter up let's grab a three-quarter coupling let's grab a three-quarter coupling here that i got little coupling here piece of pipe and um what else 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 what else, what else? and let me get a ruler measure that belt guys the things we do the things we do for money glue primer I'm trying to go up in this fucking space here holy shit about 12 feet up Finally up. Oh, put that there. Oh, let's climb over. Oh, man. Oh, Jeez. I tell you, as the sun goes down, it does get a little cooler out here. All right, let's extend that drain for them. Let's put it right in that gutter. Let's glue everything. Oh, let's check the pressure when we're done. Belt size. Come back with a belt, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, get a good starting point. And of course, you think I'm gonna be able to open this by hand? Hell no. Where's my nipix? Where's my nipix? Oh man, nipix. everything nice like gentlemen so this guy's got no problems I don't know, come across this shit where nobody nobody wants to glue their fittings today I love when people say you don't need primer you don't need primer who told you that you don't need primer are you nuts of course you need primer of course you need primer who told you you don't need primer Fucking crazy, all the hacks. Let's put that in there. All right, let that sit for a second. Put our elbow on. Put our elbow on there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's glue this bad boy in. Nice and primed. When you prime it, you're cleaning it, and you're actually taking that layer of coating off where you can make a nice bond to the piping and that's what you want you want a nice solid bond so this shit don't go anywhere it doesn't pop out again and you look like an idiot do it right do it right once so you can sleep good at night and never come back that nice and straight let's get our three-quarter coupling let's get our piece let's glue that on there's a Milwaukee's automatic PVC cover this is a tool here I think you guys are gonna like it I think you guys are gonna like it all right that's where she's gonna go right there I'm gonna cut this guy right here PVC shear what the hell? I think, it'll, I think it'll cut your hand right off. Alright. Glue primer. Let's glue this up.
schmear. Put a little schmear on there. Just a little schmear. All right. Okay. What happened? This thing is dirty. What happened? Oh, there's so much fucking tar on it. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Cut this fucking thing off. Oh, there's so much tar on it. tar on there. Of course, I wasn't able to glue it. All right. Put that like that. Bring it away from the house. Give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away now. You guys remember that song? Back in the day. All right. Let's get out of here because I want to go home. I want to go home and relax. All right. That's good like that. Put this away. All right. Let's get a belt size and uh, hopefully that blower motor comes on again because we killed power to it. So let's see what it does. All right, we got belt size. Let's uh, make sure unit comes on again. Oh, she's coming on. Beautiful. She's screaming now. All right. Oh, no, condenser fan. Condenser fan not coming on. She wants to. Talking condenser fan. Love tap. Oh man. She's on. Guys, we'll get a new belt tomorrow. Fuck it, we'll change the capacitor on it. I don't have belts. I don't stock belts in my truck. Let's check pressures on this thing. And uh I'll let you guys be the judge. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know. Up cooling, look, this thing is icing up. This thing is starting to ice up. Oh man. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, it's starting to ice up. Got no sub cooling. Yeah, this thing is a little low. Jeez. All right, let's see what they want to do. Okay. Broke the news to the homeowner and got some of the good stuff. Got some of the good stuff. Let's go juice her up. All right, guys, let's juice her up. Oh, make sure that's tight. Bleed all the air out of there. I think we got it all out. All right, let's juice her up. Let's get some. I'm going to some cooling in here. Alright, that coil's not freezing. And this thing is sweating. Let it dump right into the gutter. Alright, good. Beautiful.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We're heading back to that rooftop unit. The customer called me last night, probably like an hour and a half after I left, and uh, he told me that the unit's not working again. So we're blowing a we're blowing a five amp fuse on the low voltage side, but it's weird because like after an hour it blows. It's not like right away instantly. So I don't know. We're going there now to see if we can find a shorted wire and uh, test the low voltage side. Here we go. All right, guys. So we're here now. Customer just brought to my attention that the breaker in the basement now is tripping. It's not the low voltage or the 5 amp fuse upstairs. So, number 11, number 11, AC, AC. Let's just see if we can try to reset it. Okay, and it pops. And it pops. Quick little side note, breakers on, off. <laughs> Uh, all right, so there is a short somewhere. There's definitely a short in some of that wiring. Let's uh, let's see what we can find upstairs. All right, guys, we're just doing a short to ground test. Got my meter set on continuity, and this whole board is shorted. Every terminal. R, Y. G fan. Everything is shorted. What the hell's going on here? Man, all of this looks good. All of this looks good. But everything is shorted now. I'm gonna check that fan line and that compressor. I'm gonna check that harness there. This is fucked up. Something rubbing somewhere. I love how they attach it with a zip tie to the coil. Is anything rubbing? Just rubbing up there. Oh shit. This fucking thing just burnt up. What the hell? Didn't I own this thing out yesterday? Didn't I own this thing out yesterday? Oh fuck. All right, let's get some spade connectors. Let me check this wiring diagram that I pulled up yesterday. I know I had them on the right, on the right chart. Oh man, where's that wiring diagram now? Here it is right here. Compressor. 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 C O M P compressor. T1. T1 is black. T1 is black. T2 is blue. T2 is blue. T3 is yellow. I had that on there. I had that on right. Why did that blow like that? What the fuck? That's weird. Alright, let's put all new connectors on here. Let's make all these connections nice. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of these spades. Let's put new spades on. Right, let's make some new connections here. Nice wire. Why did that burn up? And 
that's coming from the contactor. That's coming right from the contactor. Why did that burn up? I owned out that contactor. And that contactor was good. Contactor was good. Why did that burn up like that? Alright, let's put on some new spade connectors. Test. Make sure they're tight. Let's go check that contactor again. But that was a direct short. Right to that grounding. Right to that casing of that compressor. Do a little pull test. get my meter let me just ring out these compressor lines here still got it on continuity nothing 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 I'll mount the windings on here. No, windings are good. They're all intact. All right. You guys remember that color combo? T2 was blue. T2 was blue. Right, yesterday I ohmed out this contactor. And look at those terminals that are just burnt to a crisp. I don't like that. I did get continuity though across it. I don't like it. Let's replace this contactor. All right, I just about had it with this unit, honestly. I just about had it with it. Just about had it. I was still tripping the breaker downstairs. I took the blower motor out of the equation. Still tripping. I went to the compressor, back to the compressor yesterday that I tested after, you know, it ran 15 minutes. I didn't test it this morning. But right now I'm just testing shorts to ground and this compressor to ground is shorted. All these windings shorted. Ah, oh, bad compressor. Guys, I'm, uh, I've had it. This is, you know, a five ton unit in a residential area like this. Come on, let's try to sell them a mini split. I'm done. I, uh, I can't spend no more time here. That's it. All right, guys, I'm not wasting any more time over there, but took the blow motor out of the option. Still tripped the breaker. Went back to the compressor. Compressor windings are shot after it being, uh, after it running for 20 minutes yesterday. The thing is shot. Five ton unit on a house that's probably 2,100 square feet totally, three stories. Insane, guys. So 
We'll give him a price. I don't know. Bring the crane out here. Get him another unit, rooftop unit, and do that. I proposed a ductless mini split, but they didn't want to do it, so it is what it is. I'm out of here. Jobs like this suck. They really do. You try to put, you know, try to put a band-aid on something. People want you to do everything you can out here to make the fucking thing work. Uh, we tried. Uh, got paid for our time, but that's it. We don't feel bad about it. So on to the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's do yours next, baby.